Okay, we're inside the house. Inside the garage. This is the lawn sprinkler. Spray in the house. Yeah. Spray in the flat work. Yeah, okay. Finally got that. Okay, the meter is hanging from the wall. Not hanging, not free hanging. It's just it's it's a pulling away from the wall. And the grounding rod's not properly buried. We have a single ground inside the garage north wall. I'm supposed to have a gap larger than an eighth of an inch. This is a recent installation. I do not see a green tag. Doesn't look like a permit was pulled for this. Uh, I'm not supposed to have a gap more than an eighth of an inch between the cabinet and the wall. I'm not supposed to have a cabinet. It's not supposed to be nailed in, not screwed. Screws are faster. I get that. All right, tight, I get that too, but they don't have the same tensile strength that nails do. They don't have the same shear strength. You ever try to take apart a treehouse? Okay, well, so if this structure was to experience a tornado, for example, this cabinet would stand a better chance of staying safely in place. Like, it's not a good day if you get hit by a tornado, I get that. But it stand a better chance if it had been nailed in instead of screwed in. The cables, these wires, they're not supposed to come out farther than these bumpers. I'm not supposed to touch the cabinet. I'm not supposed to touch the top of the cabinet. And they're almost touching it. But I don't think they actually are. I might leave that off. Okay. Copper lines coming in. Excuse me. Aluminum lines coming in. That's okay. Copper lines going out. That's what we want. Now, here's the thing about this. Here's the thing about this. This is Texas Real Estate Commission says if there's not antioxidant paste on these, then I got to call it out for not having antioxidant paste. But on cable this size, there's another discussion that might not be the best way to go. So there you go. Might not be even required, but the Texas Real Estate Commission, so we're going to keep them happy. We are. That's what we do. We keep them happy. So um, this neutral, if you do not know that this is a neutral, you don't belong in this cabinet. I get this, but it's supposed to be racked with white tape. This white hot down here. Okay, if you do not know that that white hot is hot, you don't belong in this cabinet. I get that too, but it's supposed to be wrapped in black tape. White tape, black tape. Nails instead of screws. The bonding location is supposed to be labeled in here. What else have we got? Oh, this goes to this nice 60 amp breaker. Is that what that is? Nice 60 amp breaker. You know what that goes to? Air conditioner. You know what the maximum breaker is for your condensing unit? 40 amps. It's overfused. It's overfused. I tripped that accidentally. I found these already tripped, so I'm not going to turn them on. That's for the exterior. That's why I'm not getting power on the fence. What else? What else? That's about it. Oh, it shouldn't have wood shavings in the cabinet. Gaps, wood shavings, bonding location, oversized breaker, white hots, no antioxidant paste. Woo screws, already said screws. Okay. Oh, I'm not through yet. Not yet. We're missing a knockout spacer on this. See how this one breaker goes down farther? See how level this is down here? You got a big gap right there that somebody can stick their finger in. And see this where they have a label? See HVAC and outside lights, HVAC, see that? Okay, that's the oversized breaker. This is supposed to be printed. All this is supposed to be printed. It's not supposed to be handwritten. It's supposed to be printed like this. That's printing, that's printing, that's printing. Not handwritten. It's not supposed to be handwritten like that.